everyone doing today? Happy Friday. So I um, wanted to jump on here live because I have this thing to share with you guys because, and I thought it would be kind of interesting. So um, today I'm gonna talk to you about the water experiment I didn't even know I was doing. But um, first I wanted to ask everyone, so I'm having some trouble with my blender and I have a Vitamix. So as you guys are watching, when you jump on, whether you're watching the replay or you jump on here live, um, tell me what blender you have and um, do you have a Vitamix? Do you have something else? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, I'm super annoyed with my Vitamix right now. Um, so I am just curious what y'all use. Um, I know it, I can like send it in for service or something cause it's under warranty, but then I'm without a blender and I use it a lot. So I'm considering maybe getting like a backup. Um, so if it ever craps out on me, like it's kind of doing right now, um, I have a backup if I have to like send it in for service or something. So I know that I can send it in, but um, it's been a while, so. Anyways, so I wanted to chat with you all about um, the water experiment that I didn't even know I was doing. And um, first, I want you all to tell me what kind of water you drink. So do you drink tap water? Do you drink bottled water? Do you drink filtered water? If you drink filtered water, what kind of filter are you using in your house? Um, is it a house filter? It is, is it a filter that's on one... Um, like one faucet, one sink, like what do you, what's your preference or what do you use at home? So I'm gonna sh flip the camera around for a second. So I love bamboo and there's my little guy right there in my tie. Um, so I love bamboo, you can see my reflection in the mirror over there. And this bamboo was green about a week ago and I decided that I was gonna water it and I watered it with tap water because I was in a hurry and I kid you not, within 48 hours of um, putting the tap water in the vase, this bamboo turned yellow. Or one of them started to turn yellow and then within a day, all three of them, you can see that last one is uh, dying. Um, died. So what does that tell you about tap water? Now I had not been watering these uh, fancy no longer fancy bamboos with tap water before I always put filtered water in there. And um, anyways, was shocked. I mean, shocked and not surprised, I guess you could say, to see that within two, you know, 48 hours of putting tap water into that vase. Um, and as you guys are jumping on, hey, Haley, um, drop me a comment in the comments. Tell me if you're watching live or replay or where you're watching from or whatever. So I am here again talking about water. So I have these bamboo. They turned, they literally, I promise you, they were green a couple days ago um, and now are yellow and dead. So um, anyways, I want to talk about tap water and tell me um, what you drink. Bottled water, tap water, um, ionized water, reverse osmosis water, do you have a filter, what kind of filter you have, I'll get into filters in just a second, um, but I just wanted to kind of chat about this because I thought it was very interesting that the tap water killed my bamboo in less than two days. So you can imagine what happens when we drink tap water and we don't realize how much crap and whatever else is in the water that's coming out of our faucet. So. I highly recommend um, charcoal filter, that's great. Um, I highly recommend some kind of filter, so charcoal filter, chlorine filter. Um, I use a, we have a water ionizer, so that gives us drinking water and it also gives us waters that we can clean with and dis disinfect as well, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I think our, our filter is a company called Echo. Um, and there's tons of them out there. Um, another great one is a filter called Berkey. I am not affiliated with any of these filters. I'm just giving you guys the information on what I know. Um, so I wanted to also talk for a minute about 
um, drinking water because drinking water in the winter time can be challenging. It's one of the biggest complaints I hear from my clients when I talk when we talk about how much water they have to drink during the winter time. And I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of you all know that minimum recommendation is typically half your body weight in ounces of water. And um, many that I talk to have struggles even just getting that amount. So. Um, my, I have three little tips for you to get more water in the winter time. Um, the first one is going to be add some, like a fresh squeeze of lemon, fresh lemon or lime. So that means when I say fresh lemon or lime, that means an actual lemon, an actual lime. You're not getting like, um, lime juice that's in a plastic bottle by, bought in the store, like that comes in the container shaped like a lime. I'm not talking about that talking about actually cutting up a fresh lemon or lime and squeezing that into your water. Um, that's helpful because that gives it a little bit more taste and can help you get more down, so to speak. Um, the second one that, um, the second tip that I have for you is, and as you all are watching too, tell me about how much water you drink throughout the day. If you feel like you drink enough, if you know you don't drink enough and need to drink more, um, tell me that as well. And, um, okay. So my second tip for you is, um, in order to help increase the total amount of water that you're drinking in a, on a daily basis is to increase the amount that you drink first thing when you wake up in the morning. However, there's a little caveat on this one. Um, drink your water, never enough. Drink your water after you rinse and brush your teeth. The reason for that is because we excrete toxins through our breath. And when we wake up in the morning, hi Rosie, when, when we wake up in the morning, it's always best to rinse your mouth out, brush your teeth, and then drink your water rather than just drink water right away because we don't realize that we're drinking down maybe some more some toxins that we've been breathing out throughout the night. So um, again, first thing in the morning, drink more water, you know, up to 20 or 30 ounces in a glass or a bottle, um, but you always want to rinse your mouth and brush your teeth out, um, brush your teeth before you start drinking your water to avoid, um, uh, taking back in some toxins that your body might have already let out through your breath. Um, third and last tip for you this morning or this afternoon, whatever time zone you're in. In fact, that actually reminds me, as y'all are watching this, um, tell me where you're watching from. I always like to know where you all are. So anyways, uh, my third tip for you is set an alarm. So I know this sounds like crazy silly, um, but if you were to literally drink like six ounces of water on the hour every hour, you'd be close to, or eight ounces or whatever, you'd be close to your, or close to or at your goal by the end of the day. So, um, oh, Battle Creek, Michigan, awesome. Um, so you'd be close to or um, at your water goal by the end of the day, and maybe that wouldn't include, um, you know, a glass or two here and there that you have. But anyways, that like I said, setting that alarm and drinking that water, you know, six six to eight ounces on the hour every hour or every two hours if you can't do it on the hour. But just setting something as a reminder for you to. Um, to drink your water and help you remember and of course create a habit out of it. So um, there's three tips for you. And um, I, had, I had asked in the beginning or when I first jumped on, I was, I was mentioning that I am having trouble with my blender. So this is totally random, but I'm having trouble with my, with my blender and I have a Vitamix and um, I think it's great. I love it most of the time, but it's giving me trouble right now. So if you have a blender or whatever blender you have, tell me in the comments, tell me what you like about it um, because I'm considering getting a backup so I can actually send my dear Vitamix in to get serviced, but then I, I'm i not without a blender because I use that thing like three or four times a day um, with our, you know, the whatever smoothies and various things that I'm doing in the kitchen. So I'm very... Um, I'm going to be heartbroken without my blender if I have to send it in for service, but I would love to get a backup. So I would love to know what you all have because that um, is something that I know there's a lot of other, a couple of other good companies out there and would love to know. So let me know that. So anyways, that's what I have for you this morning. The moral of the story is 
Tap water killed my bamboo in less than 48 hours. So don't drink tap water. Um, get a filter, get something. Again, ionized water, reverse osmosis, whatever your preference is. If you have questions, um, drop those in the comments because I can um, help you out with those. Um, and three tips for you. So if you've uh, jumped on and you're watching the replay, drop replay in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. And um, last and not least, if you think that these tips have been valuable, please drop value in the comments and um, lots more to come over the next month. And I also have a great seven week online program where I give you tons of information, tons of tips. Thanks, uh, you're welcome Haley, have a great day, you too. Um, Tons of tips, tons of information. Um, I'll be talking more about that in the next couple of weeks, but if you have any interest, um, keep your eyes peeled to the lives I'm gonna do coming up and drop the number seven in the comments. So I hope everyone has a great day and I will talk to you all later.